Brothers and sisters, what difficulties or challenges you are currently facing? Now, what if you know you have no reason to overcome, not just once? What will you do? As we all know, for this month of October, we will start our new team, which is the Covenant of God and the Reformation. And in light of this preaching team for this month, allow me to discuss this topic today. Affirming our faith to God and His Word. Well, if we want to understand who God is in the midst of all the challenges, brothers and sisters, it is also vitally important to understand the Bible. Hindi natin pwedeng paghiwalayin yung dalawa. So let us open our Bible in Psalms 119, verses 81 to 88. I will be reading from... English Standard Version. Psalms 119, 81 to 88. Verse 81. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long for your promise. I ask when will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. Verse 86, all your commandments are sure. They persecute me without falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end of, my, of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, give me life that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. Let us pray. Father, we recognize that you are our God who is faithful. But at the same time, we recognize the importance of your word so that may, we, we, we will know who you are. So right now, accomplish your purpose. Wag mo po kaming biguin ngayong umaga. For your glory and honor, this is our prayer in Christ's precious name. Amen. In the 16th century, the Protestant Reformation solas was the rallying cry among the reformers. Now, do you still remember the one that holds on to the authority of the Bible? Anong tawag doon? Sola is scriptura. That is why, brothers and sisters, in the midst of all the challenges or difficulties in life, we need to understand that the Bible is our only source of strength. Today, our church, Bread from Heaven Christian Fellowship, and I believe, along with other Reformed churches, because of our love of Christ, our deep appreciation of the gospel. By the way, our church, every Tuesday of this month, meron po tayo ongoing discussions on the gospel. And also, our appreciation of His church. We, the Reformed churches, assert our commitment 
to the central truths of the Reformation. Well, we affirm these truths not because of its role in the history past. We affirm these truths because we believe that what the Reformers believed back then is simply written in the Bible. Sola is scriptura. Kaya naman mga kapatid, ano man ang katotohanan, even the benefit of the Bible, we need to understand. We need to have a deep appreciation of its truths and also its benefits. A mother set a table, poured water, and sat down with, his, with her two little boys. They bowed down their heads and thanked God for at least the water. As soon as they finished their prayer, a resounding knock at the door was heard. A man with a bushel of potatoes gave to the mother in exchange of the money he owed with the woman. The boy grew up and became known as H.A. Ironside. One of the most prominent preachers in his time, even his name was affixed to over 100 books, mostly commentaries. It's period A, period Ironside. The mother gave her two sons what money could not buy. That is the spiritual heritage that included the thirst for the word of God. So, what principles we can get from the Bible that taught us about how we should respond when life is demanding? But at the same time, what will characterize our understanding of God and the truthfulness of His Word? Number one, in relation to the Bible, the Bible is our source of confidence. So whatever the challenges, be reminded by the sisters, we will surely have hope. Balikan po natin yung ating verse, Psalms 119, verse 81. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. What we see here is that the psalmist, in his most powerful sense of deepest need, the writer came to a point of his life where he realized that nothing on earth could fulfill that deepest need in his life. But take note. Ang tanong, where this longing led him? Ano po ang idinulot sa kanya nung kanyang matinding uh, pangailangan? Well, whatever the challenges, whatever the deepest longing meron ang psalmist, this lead him to a more important, much higher important, that is to know God and to know His salvation. Ito po ang problema, mga kapatid. In our challenges in life, we end up just recognizing whatever the challenges, period. We never allow the challenges to draw us nearer to a much higher, much important, that is 
our God and His salvation. In our difficulty, we end up just re realizing our difficulty. That's all. The good news is that God Himself is the one creating in us that longing. So whatever the situations, how difficult it may be, God put in us the desire to ask for His help. Ano pong sabi sa Jeremiah 24 verse 6? I will give them what? The heart to know me. Well, but and sisters, we all have difficulties. We all have challenges in life. But unless God gives us His grace so that we will be able to rise above our difficulties. But at the same time, unless God gives us His truth for us to guide what to do, well, we will end up hopeless. Talo lang tayo, mga patid. That is why there is a need for a more in-depth study of God's Word. Again, our church, uh, the cluster 1, 2, and 3, have all the avenues for us to have a more depth, in-depth study of God's Word. But at the same time, ask the Holy Spirit so that as we study His Word, longing for His strength, longing for His guidance, ask the Holy Spirit to cause us to obey, even to surrender to His Word when circumstances do not fit our limited understanding of God and His Word. Well, the psalmist in his struggles, he longs for God with his the highest, even the most important thing na dapat niyang gawin in the midst of the challenges. Why? Not because he is in need of God's help. No. He longs for God's help because the psalmist knows God's word and what he promised in his word. Do you remember what Jesus said about one distinct characteristic of his sheep in John chapter 10? Naalala niyo po? Isang katangian ng isang tupa in John chapter 10? The Lord Jesus said, My sheep, what? Is confused when an important decision is to be made? No! The Lord Jesus Christ said, My sheep, what? Is frustrated when things do not turn out according to his expectations? Big, big, no! My sheep, according to our Lord Jesus Christ, is what? Is hopeless because of the heaviness of his problem and it is behind, beyond his disposal to solve? Well, still, big, big no. If there is one distinct characteristic of his sheep, in the midst of those who will attempt to steal, to kill, even to destroy, the Lord Jesus Christ said, My sheep, what? Here's my voice. That is the problem, mga kapatid. The very reason you feel you are alone confronting all the challenges is because you are no longer giving time to listen to His word. If ever you are giving time, the problem is you do all the talking and no more time to listen. Hebrews 4.12 says, The Word of God is what? Alive and active. At the very moment, right in front of all the challenges, the Word of God is alive and active. Meaning, God is not only whispering something. 
in our ears. God is there working in our behalf. But again, there is no other way to listen, to understand His will, but to spend time reading His Word. Pray about the truth you have learned and hope in God. Why? Because the Bible is your source of confidence that whatever challenges you may have, surely we will have hope. Number two, in relation to others, the Bible is not only your source of confidence. The Bible is our source of justice. So whatever difficulty we may have, at the right time, you will be rewarded. Balikan po natin yung ating passage, Psalms 119, verse 83. The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. So the very reason why they are uh, insolent, simply because they do not obey God's word. Sabi po sa verse 86, All your commandments are sure. They persecute me without, they persecute me with falsehood. Help me. Verse 87, They have almost made an end of me on earth. Muntik na. Po. Pero sabi niya, But I have not for second your words. The word wineskin here, brothers and sisters, is used to describe uselessness. The psalmist, in the midst of all the challenges, thinks of himself as insignificant, useless. There is nothing he can do. But unlike the insolent, unlike the arrogant, who thinks he is indispensable and does not need God, anong sabi po ng psalmist? I do not forget your words. Instead of looking at his hopeless situation, he remembers God's word and asks for God's definitive action. Anong sabi po niya sa verse 84? When will you judge those who persecute me? The word punish is used in the Old Testament 400 times. So doon makikita nyo kung gaano kahalaga yung word na punish. And it, it is used to mean judgment. Here, the psalmist is 100% sure that the judgment will be executed. Why? Take note. Because God, God of the Bible, who is the source of justice, will surely act in behalf of those who do not forget His word. Balikan po natin. Anong sabi po niya? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. All your commands are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end. But I have not forsaken your law. But and sisters, God is our source of justice. The more we understand the God of the Bible, we are confident to face the challenges. Not only that, mga kapatid, here, the word punish is used primarily as the character of God. In Isaiah 30, verse 18, yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Why? Is it because we are in need of His grace? 
Is it because somehow we are we feel insignificant? We are unable to overcome all the challenges? Ang sabi po, yet the Lord longs to be gracious for the Lord is a God of justice. Well, ang tanong, do you experience injustices in this life? Palagay nyo. Meron ba tayong mga karanasan ng kawalang justisya? You are praying for a quite a long time about your dream promotion and then suddenly someone gets that dream promotion. Is that injustice? You are doing your work faithfully in a company that is managed by non-believers and you are doing all things for his testimony. You are doing all things to be faithful worker in that company that is owned by non-believers. And yet, still, you are being terminated. Is that injustice? Like a simple prayer to pass the board exam. But you failed not once, not twice, but three times. Is that injustice? What we are saying, brothers and sisters, we all have injustices in this life in many forms but the good news is that our God is our source of justice he will not deny us with what he knows in the end will honor him in Psalms 40 verse 17 the psalmist recognized that even though he was in deepest need God 100% we would not delay According to the psalmist, delay means to pause and focus on who God is. So kung may mga delays tayo mga patid, it is just an opportunity to pause for a while, sit and relax, and focus on who God is. But at the same time, it is also means to persevere or to rise above the circumstances as we hope and trust in His Word. In whatever situation we may have, be mindful of who God is, who is your source of justice. So the next time we are confronted with difficulties, remember, the Bible, not only your source of confidence, but also the Bible is your source of justice. Surely, in His time, you will receive reward. Number three, mga patid. In relation to God, the Bible is your source of truth. That whatever may come your way, in His faithfulness, God will surely bring all that difficulties to turn it into His honor. Balikan pati, mga patid, yung verse 86. Psalms 119. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forgotten your precepts. Verse 88. In your steadfast love, give me life that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. The psalmist, brothers and sisters, during all his difficulties, never stop obeying God, even it is difficult to obey. Actually, the hardest thing to obey kapag ka you are in a difficult situation. Actually, that is our problem when in difficult situation. We never think 
of our need to obey God. Ang problema, we even branded our God as unfair. Even does not care. Rather than thinking of how are we going to please God in a difficult situation. Well, what do you think is the benefit of our obedience in the midst of the challenges in life? But in sisters, the more we obey God, the bigger the opportunity to know Him. And the bigger the opportunity to know Him, the lesser our fear, worries, or our problem becomes. Ang problema, mga kapatid, kapag may problema tayo, we stop obeying God. Kaya naman, lumalaki yung problema. Hindi mo natin naiintindihan yung plano ng ating Panginoon. Again, in Psalms 119, verse 88, Preserve my life. Bakit? Not because I'm in need. Hindi po. Preserve my life according to who you are. You are our source of strength. You are our source of hope. You are our source of wisdom. Preserve my life according to who you are. And in return, ang sabi po niya, and I will obey the statutes of your mouth. But then sisters, we may do our best to overcome our difficulties. But the only answer lies in God. Jesus said in John 15, Apart from me, you can do nothing. Well, be reminded that this statement was said in the context not only the branch uh, bears fruit, Mapapansin po natin, it was said in the context of, of bear more fruit, bear much fruit, and fruit that will last. Yung salitang wala kang magagawa, sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa panahon na yung sanga namumunga. But at the same time, it was also said doon sa sanga na hindi namumunga. Tama po ba? Balikan natin yung John chapter 15. Why? Is it because God takes delight in fruitlessness? No. Again, in John chapter 15 verse 8, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, My Father is glorified with what? If you bear much fruit. Ang problema, mga kapatid, in our difficulties, in our challenges, even in our fruitlessness, we forget that we, me, yourself, as a branch, you belong to the same true vine. Kaya hirap na hirap tayo kasi ang ang piling mo, ikaw nagmamayari nung buhay natin. Kaya hirap na hirap po tayo. God owns us, including our family, our work, our business, our study, including all things in life. Ang nagmamayari nito ang ating Panginoon. That is why, nung sinabi ng ating Panginoon, you cannot do anything even just to bear at least one fruit without me. Why? Because I am the owner. I am the true binds. We forget, brothers and sisters, that our only comfort in life, in death, even in fruitlessness, this life belongs to God. That is why the Bible made it clear and Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing, even just a single fruit. That is why abiding in the Lord, word is vital and beneficial when we are confronted with difficulties. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, 
the same passage, if you abide in me, ang sabi po, you can do all things, hindi po, if you abide in me, vitally important, and my word abide in you. If you want to rise above your fruitlessness, at least, just one fruit, to have at least just one fruit, obey God. Why? Because our God is faithful. In the end, He will be glorified. So what have we learned? Mga kapatid, ano man ang ating mga difficulties in life, be reminded that the Bible is your source of confidence. Hope in God. In the midst of all the challenges, our God is your source of justice. Sooner or later, you will have your reward. But at the same time, if things around us seemingly do not fit our understanding of who God is and His Word, again, be reminded that He will remain faithful. And in the end, God will be honored. So we have all the reason in the midst of all the difficulties in life to be patient for God will help. We have all the reason to be mindful. Why? Surely God will work in our favor. But at the same time, we have all the reason to be obedient in the very first place because God is faithful. Sa ating pong harapan mga kapatid is proof that our God, not only He is faithful, but His word is truth. Habang ito po ay dinidistribute ng ating office bearers, once again, affirm your understanding of who God is and His word. So may we ask all the office bearers to distribute the elements of the Lord's Supper.